So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Exodus wallet. Um, so this is a bit more secure when you start to have a little bit more Bitcoin uh, or more dollar value in Bitcoin than say over a thousand dollars, then I recommend uh, a more secure wallet like this. So you can download Exodus by going to exodus.io and you can click on the download either for your Mac or your Windows PC or Linux. So you just download the wallet like this from the website. And once that has downloaded, you can install it. So just run through the installation here on my Mac quickly. So this is a uh, more secure than an online wallet. In my previous video, I looked at blockchain.info, which if you're going to uh, use an online wallet, then I, I recommend blockchain.info. But like I say, when you get a little bit more Bitcoin and you want to keep it offline a little bit more secure, then this is one of the wallets you're going to want to use. So just install an application for Exodus on my Mac. And once that's installed, we'll be able to go over and find the program here and click run. Okay, so this is what the Exodus wallet looks like when you first install it and open it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, add some funds to the wallet. So I've got some funds actually over on, actually over on my one of the exchanges here where um, I've got some Bitcoin stored. So I'm just going to go over and check the value of that there. Okay, so let's check to US dollars and the value is 4,000 and something dollars. So I take the address from here, my Exodus wallet, I click receive and I copy this address. This is my Exodus wallet address I want to send to. So I paste that into the sending to here in the exchange or wherever you're sending your Bitcoin from. Now I'm going to try and send all of this Bitcoin that I've got in this account, but there's going to be a small charge. So there, as it says there, um, I can't send it all because there is a fee. So I need to deduct the fee. Just have a look there, the fee. Okay, there's the fee there. So I'm going to take that fee off my balance. I'm just going to do a quick calculation on my calculator and then put the amount in there so that I can send it all and still have enough to pay the fee. And I click send again. Okay, so this is actually localbitcoins.com, this exchange. I've shown you how to use this exchange in another video as well. Okay, so I uh, just need to get my Google verification code and put that in there. Just bear with me while I get that from my mobile device. Okay, so put the verification code in and click send Bitcoin. Okay, so that says the Bitcoin is successfully sent. So now it's going to appear in my Exodus wallet shortly. You can see the balance up here has changed uh, from what was there. So that has been sent. So I'm going to come back over to the Exodus wallet and, and you can see there that there is the transaction there. So it's pending. So there's $4,620 in Bitcoin, 0 0.83035 Bitcoin at the time that I'm making this video. And if we click here, you can see the transaction is still pending. So it immediately tells me that there is a transaction being sent to my wallet. So I just have to wait for those confirmations now. So just I'm going to pause the video and just wait for that to get confirmed. OK, so you can see now 25 minutes later, it's had all three confirmations. So that's now confirmed and in my wallet. So the next thing I want to do now is actually make a first backup. So you go over here and click backup. Now you choose a password and follow the on-screen instructions. And what this backup does is this allows you to restore your wallet on another device on another PC or Mac if you were to uh, get a new computer or lose access for some reason. So you also need to get this recovery phrase from here. Again, you just uh, follow the on-screen instructions 
and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to print this recovery page and uh, this recovery phrase actually I'm going to choose PDF I'm, I'm going to save it as a PDF file and I'm also going to put a password lock on that PDF file so like I say this is just going to be if you ever need to recover your account so this ensures that you never lose your Bitcoin if you can't get access to your account for some reason or if you need to restore it for any reason at all okay so I've set a password on there I'm going to save that as a PDF now you can also just write write this passphrase down it's a series of 12 words as you can see uh, just behind this box here so you write down the 12 words and keep it somewhere in a safe or anywhere else for safekeeping if you don't want to keep it on your computer as a document that's fine okay and then we're going to click next uh, email your backup link so you can put an email address in here and Exodus will send you a backup link to your email address also so I'm going to put my email address in here and then we click on finish we'll just give that a few seconds to back up okay so once that's done backup is complete uh, your backup was up updated successfully a few seconds ago okay so if we click back here on portfolio uh, so I paused that video for a while you can see the price of Bitcoin has gone up quite a bit uh, since I came back so uh, you can click here over on portfolio so this orange circle here represents the total uh, portfolio is all Bitcoin at the moment so it's all orange um, but the good thing with Exodus wallet is you can store all these other altcoins in it as well uh, so for example if you add some Ethereum or Litecoin or something else then it would show in a slightly different color in a percentage in this circle here so you can also exchange directly from within the Exodus wallet which is a good thing so if I wanted to buy for example one Ethereum I could come over here so I've gone to exchange I come over here and you choose from the currencies here so if I wanted to change some Bitcoin for Ethereum and I put the one in there for one bit uh, one Ethereum so you can see the current price as I make this video is three hundred and forty dollars and if I was to buy one Ethereum in Bitcoin it would cost me three hundred and forty one dollars uh, so just less than a dollar um, I'd be paying to exchange the Bitcoin for Ethereum so you can kind of do a little bit of uh, trading on a small scale from within your Exodus wallet here so for example if the price of Bitcoin was to stay at this point or go even higher and Ethereum went down much lower uh, so just yesterday Ethereum was about 300 so if this went back down for 300 for example what I could do then is buy the Ethereum so buy one Ethereum I'd actually be getting more Ethereum for for my Bitcoin if the price of Ethereum was lower in this example so that would then give me one Ethereum and then when the price of Ethereum comes back up to this price or more then I could swap that back over and exchange for Ethereum for Bitcoin so you can kind of uh, you know you can make the exchange from within this account here and you can make a, a value gain by doing that if you just keep an eye on the prices so as well as that you've got all these other altcoins in here, uh, which you can also store in your Exodus wallet uh, so just a couple of other things you've got the settings over here you can actually choose the skins and colors and textures and things for your for your application for your Exodus wallet and you can click on here to get help from the help desk videos and social media sites and you can learn about Exodus wallet more here so this is the wallet I recommend to download for your PC or Mac uh, if you want a, a secure wallet for download for your mobile device then Mycelium is a great wallet for that and in the next video later on I'm going to be looking at the next step which is a Trezor or Ledger wallet which is a hardware device looks a little bit like a USB stick which you actually plug into your computer so that is probably the next level of security but I mean Exodus is fine I just like to have many different wallets because I you know I keep a little bit of Bitcoin in each one um, but I'm likely to keep more in Exodus than I would on in an online wallet and then I keep even more in a Trezor and Ledger hardware wallet uh, rather than it being actually on your on your PC you can always plug it into another PC or another Mac 
and access your funds that way. So we'll look at that in another video. So that was the Exodus wallet and I recommend you download this wallet from exodus.io.